Hey everyone, Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and today we're looking at a quite unique chassis. Uh, this is the CR1088, I think that's how they want us to pronounce it, but it could be the 1088 or any other derivative of that. It features a dual chamber design and it's something that I guess is first for us at eTechnics because we've never actually had a chassis from Rio Toro. So let's jump straight in and take a look. The Rio Toro CR1088 is a mid-tower design and comes with integrated exterior prism RGB 256 color lighting, which looks very, very cool. In fact, the chassis is branded as the smallest full-size ATX case you will ever need with RGB. Both the logo and the large vertical strip on the front panel are lit, along with the trim around the front panel edge. A nice touch is that the front controls also have a fully RGB trim around the outside of the connectors and buttons, which again looks very, very cool. Everything is fully customizable except the logo, which unfortunately can only be red or off. On this panel, you will find a button to control all exterior RGB lighting by cycling through an extensive set of preset patterns. Power and reset buttons are here too, two USB 3.0 ports and headphone and microphone jacks. Some people may complain that 256 colours are not enough, but frankly, we disagree. It's more than enough for a chassis. Those wanting every colour of the spectrum are just, well, too needy. If we pull the front panel off, we find easy to clean dust filters in the front of the case. And likewise at the bottom of the case. And at the top. I wish there was room for a radiator and fans at the top of the chassis, but sadly there isn't. The case is windowed with clear plastic on the motherboard side to show off your stuff, and a solid side on the PSU and storage side to hide the things that you don't really care about. The solid side also has ventilation with yet another removable dust filter, which is always welcomed. Moving on to the interior now, the 1088 supports ATX motherboards, long graphics cards and larger PSUs with its interesting dual chamber design. The left chamber can take an ATX motherboard, three GPUs up to 300mm in length, and CPU coolers up to 122mm in height. The right chamber has two SSD bays, which both facilitate toolless installation, two toolless hard drive bays, and it can house one PSU up to 220mm in length. You can fit up to two 120mm fans in the front and one 80mm fan in the back, which, considering the space potential of its dual chamber design, I feel is a bit lacklustre. I'd want at least a 120mm fan in the rear. You can also fit a 240mm rad in the front, and a single 120mm fan does come included here too. The spacious interior means that cable management is nice and easy, with routing paths and cutouts in all of the right places. More space means improved airflow, and this is certainly the case here. The motherboard actually sits upside down in this case, which could be a good thing as heat generally rises, but is something worth noting if the look of a system is really your thing. We have seven PCI expansion slots here, but they do come with snappable PCI covers. These are a pet hate of mine, so sort it out, Rio Toro. You also get thumb screws for installing the expansion cards with this case, which is a nice little touch, but you can't really get your thumb into it due to the way that the chassis obstructs them, so you have to use a screwdriver anyway. Bit of an oversight, maybe. The entire storage bay panel can be removed to allow access to the CR 1280FX fan and RGB controller. You will also find more hard drive bays on the reverse of the panel itself, as well as extra room to tuck away those pesky cables, and this is a cool feature for sure, and one that I'm sure people will love. Two year warranty, 90 days of free support, that's pretty impressive for a brand who are new to the market, and you can also buy an extended warranty which will double this term if you so wish. So in conclusion, this is a good, solid chassis. The dual chamber design offers lots of space for cable routing and your components, along with good airflow, and the tallest design for SSD and hard drive mounting is great and so simple to use too. Radiator hoses have to go at the bottom, otherwise the front panel does get in the way, and one negative is that radiator placement can impede the length of GPUs that will fit in the case, so please keep that in mind. Cable management is great, as you can hide most of it on the opposite side of the chassis where you can't see it, but it would have been nice to have the window in tempered glass instead of plastic. And I'm not sure why it has a raised midsection either. It's not required as nothing will really stick out that far, but again, this is down to personal taste. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed that and it gave you a bit of an idea as to kind of how easy the chassis is to work with and a little bit more about the styling and just general design. And at the price, you can't really uh, grumble, you know, around 70 pounds in the UK, you can't really complain too much about that pricing. It hasn't got tempered glass, but you find me a chassis that features this kind of unique dual chamber design and does have tempered glass and RGB. There's so much that the chassis has to offer that personally, I think it's great. So now for the good stuff. If you wanna win this exact chassis here, and sadly, as we always say, we do have to empty it out. So you are, you are only actually going to win the chassis itself and not the components inside. But still, that's a great prize on its own. If you do wanna win that, be sure to check out the description below where you can find out exactly how to get hold of this amazing little chassis here. Other than that, remember to subscribe to get great video content like this directly to your inbox. Remember to give us a thumbs up, comment, and we will see you in the next video. See you later.